Hi guys, I'm back with another page in my December Memories Pocket Page Notebook. I've got this little photo of Lily. This was Lily's first Christmas with us and I had bought her this toy dog and the toy dog was like bigger than her but she loved it so much and I was so happy that we'd got her something that she loved. I'm picking out a couple of papers from my December Dreams digital kit and I really loved the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas page that fit the photo on it really nicely but I decided instead of using um, another paper from the kit on the left hand side I would print another photo. Now technically I don't think that photo is actually from the same Christmas but I really like it as a background paper. I decided to um, back the photo just with one of the stripe papers from the kit. Um, you can cut them apart just as easily as you can use them whole. So I'm just cutting the stripe part off so that I can back the photo and just make it stand out a little bit more on that teal. Just going to tape the photo onto the backing paper. I'm um, just using some double sided tape, but I'm not going to stick the actual backing piece onto the teal paper. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little flap, a little fold up piece with this photo, um, and I'm going to put my journaling underneath there so that the, the page stays really clean looking, but I can still put my story underneath. So to do that I'm just going to use um, a piece of washi tape along the top and I just picked out the first sort of gold washi tape I could find because I just, you know, it's Christmas, it's got to have a little bit of gold to it. So I'm just taping a little piece along the top and pressing that down and then I'm going to fold the flap up and I'm going to add another piece underneath as well. It helps to add a little bit of decoration but it also makes that flap just a little bit more secure. So then underneath I can put my journaling and I've just typed that out with my typewriter so I'm going to do my usual and just cut it into strips and glue that down with my Martha Stewart glue pen. The December Dreams um, kit is still available from the stamp spot so I'll leave the link down below if you want to grab one for yourself. So now I've got my little story underneath the photo there. I can do a tiny bit of embellishing on the left hand side. I really wanted to add something into that space at the top and I thought one of these tags would be perfect. So I'm going to use the wood grain one. It just stands out a little bit more than the stripe one. So I punched a hole through the actual tag and I'm going to add a little bit of this um, paper twine. It's this pink paper twine. Um, it is quite stiff so it made it quite hard to sort of tie the knot around the top of the tag. But what I like about it is it is quite flat. So I am trying to keep this notebook as flat as possible so it doesn't get too fat. So then I can just stick it onto the page and trim off the piece that was um, sticking out the top. And then I'm just going to use a couple of these little tiny word phrases along the top. Just ones that match more the decorating story rather than the lily story. So this way I've almost got like two stories on this page rather than one. Because that tree photo doesn't necessarily equate to the lily photo. Um, I'm sort of using this as a two single page spread rather than a one. So then I can just stick my photo into the pocket and I'm going to glue this page down to the pocket page notebook just with some double sided tape. And that is this page all done. This December Memories pocket page notebook is filling up fast and I have to say I really love it. It's becoming one of my favourite projects to work on. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up it means a lot to me and if you want to keep watching I'm going to put a couple more December themed videos on screen for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!